Good morning. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to another weekend prep video. I just got home yesterday from a work trip and of course there's dishes in the sink. Not too, too many, but uh, I probably should have made the kids do those last night. However, there is a lot of clean dishes in here. This morning, I'm gonna make pancakes for breakfast um, because Adam got this new maple syrup he wants to try. I don't think I have any breakfast meats to go with the um, pancakes. Unless there's some bacon in here. I don't know how to look. All right, so we're just gonna make eggs and pancakes and call it a day, because I'm not gonna eat it, so I don't care. <laughs> I'll probably make myself a bagel, but maybe Adam and Connor will eat it. Uh, if you ever see this at Walmart, pick it up. It's really good, it makes really good pancakes. You can do like just the easy one where you add water, or it has a recipe um, where you can add like eggs and butter to it, which is probably what I'll do. Hey guys, I wanted to pop in here real quick and thank Fabric for sponsoring this weekend prep video. I've been working with them for a long time here on my channel and I personally love working with them because I think life insurance is so important to have, especially when you have a family like my husband and I, both work. Our family depends on both of our incomes. And so we make sure that we always have a life insurance policy in case something would happen to one of us. We know that our family is going to be financially taken care of. Fabric by Gerber Life Insurance is term life insurance. You can get done right here, right now. You could be covered from your couch in under 10 minutes with no health exam required. If you've got kids and especially if you are young and healthy, the time to lock in low rates is now. Fabric has flexible, high quality policies that fit your family and your budget, like a million dollars in coverage for less than a dollar a day. It's all online and on your schedule, so you can apply when it's convenient for you. Plus, there's absolutely no risk. They have a 30 day money back guarantee and you can cancel at any time. Fabric also has over 1,800 five star reviews on Trustpilot with a rating of excellent. So, join the thousands of parents that trust Fabric to help them protect their family. You can apply in minutes at meatfabric.com slash Jen. That's meatfabric, M-E-E-T fabric.com slash Jen. So you can either tap the screen right here or go down to the description box below. Click that link and you could be covered from your couch in 10 minutes or less. All right. So this was that syrup that Adam wanted to try. It's from Whistle Pig. They also make whiskey, so it's barrel aged. So anyway, I just made him some eggs and pancakes for breakfast. And then a little bit later, I made myself some of this Waker's Happy Coffee. Uh, if I can find it online, I'll link it down below. It's basically kind of like an instant coffee mix, but it's mocha flavored and it has a bunch of like adaptogens in it. I actually really like it. I've been drinking it several times a week. I just add a few pumps of sugar-free syrup to it along with a little splash of milk and it makes like the perfect sugar-free mocha and it really does help keep me focused throughout the day. So I would recommend it if you guys have seen it. I think I saw it first on TikTok. So when I was in DC uh, for work a few months back, I had this delicious bagel that had sprouts on it. It was like a salt bagel with chive cream cheese and it had sprouts and tomato and cucumber on it and it was so delicious and I have been wanting to create it at home. However, I cannot find sprouts around where I live. So I purchased a sprout 
growing kit on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I have been loving using it. It is super easy. It comes with everything you need. And so I made my own chive cream cheese and I toasted a bagel and I smeared that on. And then I added some tomatoes that I put salt and pepper on and some sprouts. I wish I would have had some cucumbers, but I didn't have any on hand. That's okay. It tasted just as delicious. And I made myself this little uh, bagel sandwich that I recreated. Uh, the only thing it was missing was the salt bagel. I can't find salt bagels around me. And I've tried to make them from scratch and I'm not a very good bagel maker. So I guess I'll have to practice more on that, but super good. All right, so I went ahead and got the kitchen clean up after breakfast. I'm now cleaning out the fridge. Since I was gone this week, there's a couple things that I need to take care of, including some meal kits that I got from Green Chef. I did not have a chance to cook these before I left. So I went ahead and put the meat in the freezer and then we'll salvage what we can from the rest of them. I have the recipes over there. I also had one HelloFresh kit that I hadn't made, but I will be able to salvage that one because it was like a taco meal and I put the meat in the freezer. So still have all that stuff I can make. Um, right now I'm cleaning out my produce drawers. I need to figure out how to use this salmon this week. This is honey smoked salmon. It came in one big pack from Costco cracked pepper, chipotle lime, and sweet bourbon. So I'm gonna find a way to use that this week. I need to cut up this celery and get that washed. Um, I've got some really gross moldy tomatoes in there. I don't know about this. This is a delicata squash. I think I can probably wash this off and it'll be fine. Um, these squash keeps for quite a long time. Okay, so I accidentally dropped a tomato in back of there and you can see how dirty this freaking trash is. Uh, so I'm gonna clean this out. Okay, so after I got all of the trash out of there, I just, I feel like this is such a forgotten space <laughs> in my house. If you guys have one of these pull out type trash cans, you probably feel the same way. But after I got all of the trash out of there, um, I just went ahead and vacuumed it with my cordless uh, Dyson vacuum. This is one of my favorite pieces that I have uh, in terms of cleaning. So I'll link the one I have down below. I think you can get them on Amazon. I want to say I got mine at Costco, um, but it works great, especially for small spaces like this. And then I just sprayed it down with all purpose cleaner and wiped it out with a hot cloth. All right, that is much better. I sprayed and wiped everything down. I'm gonna go and take the trash out and then I'll replace the trash bags. Okay, so I'm trying to salvage these green onions. So I'm just gonna put them in a little jar and put some water in there and then they'll regrow. I'll just put them over here on my sink. All right, so I found this in the fridge. 59 degrees. Yep. All right, anyway, I found this uh, Panera soup in the fridge. I'm gonna go ahead and make that for my lunch so I can get it used up. I don't know if Panera has this soup all the time. I've actually never gotten it there. What, honey? Do you get spring break or do you do you get summer break in college? In college, yeah. You do? Yep. Oh. I just put a little sprinkle of cheese on there and then I've got half oh my God, I can't these open. I've got half a bag of these siete tortilla chips. I used the other half for chili. Last weekend, I'm just going to dump those in there. Some green onions. I'm going to sit down and eat lunch and probably look at one of my new cookbooks. So I needed to tackle these meal kits. And basically, I just wanted to take everything out of the bags and see if everything was still usable, which yes, uh, the majority of it was, if not, I think all of it actually still was usable. And like I mentioned before, I put all of the meat in the freezer. So what I'm going to do is work on incorporating these ingredients into my uh, meal plan for this weekend. I had like a mountain of kale <laughs> in two of the bags. So I just decided to wash that up um, ahead of time. That way it was ready to go. I'm going to make a couple of these meals for dinner tonight, and then I'm going to make one for lunch tomorrow. And actually there will be enough leftovers to meal prep, which you'll see here in a second. Um, I have been struggling with my depression over the last couple months, which I've talked about to you guys. And one of the things that's helped me 
um, in terms of getting dinner on the table and also with meal prepping, um, even for myself for lunches and lunches for Adam during the week has been meal kits. And I'm not sponsored by Green Chef anymore, but you guys that have watched me for a while know that I was in the past and I freaking love their meal kits, even though I'm not sponsored by them anymore. Like you can see here, I still purchase them, especially when I need some help in the kitchen. If you guys want to try out Green Chef, if you're a new customer, they actually have a deal going on right now where you can get a week's worth of food for free. So I'll put that link in the description box below. One of the meals that I'm going to make this weekend is this uh, gyro spiced pork salad bowl. And I also noticed that Emily Mariko was partnering with Green Chef to make some meals. And so we're also going to try this one, which is the beef tenderloin with ginger lime aioli. Both of these were super good. So I have some of that tenderloin steak in a bowl here. I'm just adding some salt and pepper to that. And then I'm going to marinate it with some soy sauce. This was a little bit before dinner. So it kind of had time to sit at room temperature and marinate. Um, there was also a kind of a radish slaw or relish, I guess you could say that went with this recipe, which was really unique. And so I'm just slicing those radishes really thinly on my mandolin slicer and then uh, also green beans. So some of the green beans were actually a little bit questionable. And so I did kind of have to pick through them. Um, fresh green beans do not last a super long time in the fridge in case you guys haven't, haven't noticed, but I washed those and I trimmed the ends off. And then this is the pork tenderloin that I'm going to use for the um, pork tenderloin kind of Greek salad with kale and pita bowls, super good. So I'm just gonna let those sit in the spices and salt and pepper. And then um, some pitas came in the kit as well. So this was kind of unique because basically you cut the pitas into squares and you put them on a baking sheet toss them with some, I used some avocado oil spray um, just so there would be less calories overall, or you can drizzle them with olive oil and then season them with garlic powder, salt, and pepper, and then just roasted these in the oven basically until they turned into pita chips. And then you end up tossing these with the kale salad. Super, super good. Um, I'm also baking some potatoes in the oven for Adam and Connor and Kira to have with their dinner. This particular bowl right here has some honey in it along with some vinegar and I added some olive oil and I'm gonna add some chopped scallions as well. That's gonna be for the dressing for the kale salad. And then since the kale was already washed, all I had to do was chop it into bite-sized pieces. Um, basically, you just kind of take a handful of it, roll it tightly, and then slice through it. Um, this knife is a newer one that I got late last year. I think the brand is pronounced Nakano. Um, I really like it. I'll find a link and link it down below. Um, you guys are always asking me about like the knives I use and you know, chopping skills and things like that. So I'm thinking about making another video. I did make one a long, long time ago. It's probably been like four years now. Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know down below. I know a couple of you have left comments <laughs> asking for that. So I went ahead and also chopped up some tomatoes, some dates, added those to the kale along with the dressing and feta cheese. And then for the pork tenderloin pieces, these don't take a super long time to cook, but I'm just going to uh, saute them in a stainless steel skillet and then put them in the oven for them to finish cooking. Um, they don't take a super long time, like I said, because they're small pieces, but that way they stay juicy and don't dry out. Um, for the green beans, I glazed these with some soy sauce and then I added some seasoning and some cashews that came in the Green Chef box. I did taste one to make sure that they were seasoned properly. And then for the filet, I'm just sauteing those in a pan on both sides until they are cooked through. And then that kit, this was the Emily Mariko one. This came um, with the, I think it was ginger lime aioli um, and the green beans. And it was really good. If you guys can get your hands on any of those Emily Mariko meal kits, definitely um, recommend it because I've tried several of them now. And then this is what I had for dinner, um, the pork with the kale salad and the pita chips. And then there was like this cardamom yogurt 
um, kind of dressing that you put on top. It was really good. And then of course I had an extra one. So I went ahead and packed that up in a meal prep container. And then I ate this for lunch later in the week. I put the dressing obviously separate in a little dressing cup. And then the pita chips, I just put those in um, a Ziploc bag so they would stay crisp. Okay. Hey guys, good morning. Um, I, it's Sunday morning. If I didn't tell you that I was supposed to get well, I wasn't supposed to, but my goal was to get my Easter video posted last weekend, actually on Easter Sunday. But by the time everyone left our house and I got everything cleaned up, I worked on starting to edit it, but I didn't get it done. So I'm going to go ahead and post that today, which it's a week later, but it's fine. It's fine. So I'm working on that right now. Actually, it's not even morning anymore. It's 12.07. <laughs> We actually went and got, um, I told Adam, I'm like, I want to go get McDonald's this morning for breakfast because the uh, bagels, the breakfast bagels are back at our McDonald's. I have not had one of those in so long. They used to have them all the time. And then I think at a lot of McDonald's, they got rid of them. And then the only place I was ever able to find one is like one time randomly when I was in Chicago for work. I they had one at the Chicago um, McDonald's that I went to for work one day. But anyway, um, I was like, I want to go get one of those. And I normally don't like go out and get breakfast, obviously, during the week, especially when I'm working from home. And I certainly don't necessarily want to door dash it because I mean, I'm not opposed to doing that. But, you know, then it's going to cost like $80 for breakfast. <laughs> So anyway, we went and got that and I got a flat white from Starbucks and of course I had to get a elite uh, Diet Coke from McDonald's, the best. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and export this video, upload it to YouTube, I need to get all the links in the description box, make a thumbnail. All that stuff always takes a lot longer than I think it's going to. It's like, are, are you, am I new at this? No, I'm not, but here we are, yeah. I'm kind of hungry now though, so I'm like thinking, what am I gonna have for lunch? I have a Green Chef meal that I wanna prep and it's a two serving one, so I could like eat a part for lunch and then prep the other part for this week, so maybe I'll do that. Um, we're also gonna go to a movie later, the Godzilla, what is it? Godzilla versus Kong? I don't know, Connor wants to go see it, so we're gonna go see that at four. Um, other than that, I really want to get some like video planning done today, work on that. I'm like already behind in April. So I'm, I'm motivating myself to get that done. And then, um, oh, Adam's work is having a women's professional clothing drive. So they do it every year basically to help out, uh, women in need who need like business casual clothes for job interviews and so they take like all kinds of like business casual you know slacks dresses blazers shoes all kinds of stuff and it just so happens that i have quite a few things that i want to take off my hands so i'm gonna go work on that um, later today and then possibly sort through my closet and see what else i can kind of get out of here and post on poshmark or donate or donate to goodwill or whatever there's lots of stuff i need to go through and then the other thing I want to get done today is to order groceries and prep some of that produce, fruit, veggies, stuff like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make this sockeye salmon with cranberry walnut couscous. It sounds really good. I'm actually going to eat one today for lunch and then prep the other one for a meal this week. So I went ahead last night and thawed the salmon out since I'd had it in the freezer previously. And this is just sockeye salmon great quality. I seasoned it with salt and then there was like a cumin, um, coriander, oregano mixture that came with the kit. So I seasoned that. We're going to go ahead and sear it on the stove top to start and then roast it in the oven. So I'm just going to add, this is in a nonstick pan. So I'm going to add a bit of olive oil. I might add a little bit to the salmon too, just because I want to make sure it doesn't stick. And then in this pot over here, I'm going to cook the pearl couscous. So I've got some water in there, some salt, and some stock concentrate. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and slice this shallot thinly. That is for the couscous. This was a super delicious meal as well. I love the flavor combination in this one. In fact, I saved the recipe card <laughs> so that I could recreate it on my own. Um, here's the remainder of that kale that I had washed up. So I'm just cutting this up small. That's actually going to go in a skillet and get tossed with the warm couscous rather than a cold kale salad. And then I am also chopping up some cranberries, which are going to go into the couscous as well. So I'm sauteing the kale and the shallot um, in a little bit of oil. I'm adding the stock concentrate to there. I'll add a little bit of water just to rehydrate that. And then once the couscous was cooked, I drained that, put it into the skillet and just kind of sauteed everything just so it would come together. I believe there's walnuts in here also. So I added those along with the cranberries berries and seasoned it with some salt and pepper turned out so good and it was like the perfect complement to that warm salmon um, this also made a great meal prep so I ate this for lunch I did take this salmon skin off before I put it in the bowl just so I could eat everything easily together the dressing on top was really good and yeah this one packed up perfect for a meal prep as well obviously I put the dressing separate because you don't want to heat that up that's always just something to keep in mind when you meal prep things if you have sauces that can't be heated up I always like to put those separate super delicious. Okay. So I haven't talked to you guys since I think it was like lunchtime. I got my video posted and then we ended up just kind of eating like a snacky supper and then going to a late movie at 7 PM. I think it was. Yeah. And so we just got home a little bit ago. It's about 9 20 and I scheduled my groceries to come while we were gone. So those are already here. I'm going to show you guys a grocery haul. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done on the, uh, clothing donating front tonight since I spent my day doing other things, but we'll see. That's fine. The main thing was I wanted to get groceries and wash up some of this produce. All right. So here's everything that I got from Walmart this week. I spent around $300. I think it was a little over 300 with the tip. Um, I did pick up a lot of produce because I needed to restock. So I got some green grapes. Uh, these seem pretty good and firm, so we'll see. I also have some sugar-free Jello in the pantry. Sometimes my kids ask me to put the grapes with the sugar-free Jello and stick them in the freezer, <laughs> so we'll see about that. Um, I actually ordered the citrus mini chopped salad kit because I like to put goat cheese with that. However, they gave me this one instead, and actually it's brown and it's like well, a lot of it's like brown and it expires today, so I'll probably ask for a refund um, and maybe they were just picked over you know it's not obviously the shoppers fault or anything like that but, um, because I'm also going to ask for a refund of these um, pomegranate arrows um, I don't know if you guys can see the bottom it's probably kind of hard to see but it's like super cloudy and when I opened it and smelled it it smells like pomegranate wine which means that they've already started to go bad <laughs> and ferment and this little container is like five bucks so anyway, that's always the bad part about, you know, doing online shopping. Um, but Walmart's really good about if you're like missing items or if something ex is expired or damaged, um, they'll give you a refund. And nine times out of 10, I don't even have issues. So I don't want that to dissuade you from using Walmart delivery um, if you want to try it out. I got some carrots. I figured I would just get regular carrots this week because I need some to grate, but then I also want to chop some up and use for um, like dipping in ranch. So I just figured I'd go with those. I got some berries, strawberries, blueberries. I accidentally got two different kinds of broccoli. So oops, um, I got two heads of broccoli and then I got the broccoli florets, but that's fine. We'll use them for dinner one night this week. Actually, I don't think I've had broccoli for a while. I was also thinking about maybe making some type of like Chinese or Asian chicken and broccoli dish. Hi, what are you doing? You ready to go night night? You tired? <laughs> okay, so I don't know when these are gonna go out of season, but I'm gonna be sad when they do. These are the Mineola Tangelos. Um, I actually like them better than oranges. And I ended up getting these because they were the same price as Clementine's. And I've been liking to 
um, cut these up for like fruit bowls and it's super easy to just like cut them into wedges and the kids will just pack them in their lunch. I got some of this baby greens salad. My Walmart doesn't carry arugula, which irritates me. So I went ahead and got this <laughs> instead as a substitute. It's not the same, but whatever. Um, I got a head of iceberg lettuce, one super hard ass uh, avocado, but I'll have to let that ripen. Some jalapenos, cause I might make pico de gallo. I got some broccoli, some cauliflower. I already said the broccoli. I don't know why I said that again. Some mini cucumbers, some cilantro, cause I was all out of that. Some potatoes, I made baked potatoes um, this weekend. And I was like, oh, that's good. I haven't made baked potatoes in a long time. And sometimes they are nice to have on hand for like a quick lunch too, with some soup or a side salad or something like that. So I grabbed those. I got two mangoes. Um, I have some salmon in the freezer and I was kind of thinking maybe I would do like a mango salsa and then make like some blackened salmon in the air fryer with some rice. I have some bananas and then I did get some peaches and some plums. They're pretty hard, so they'll have to ripen a little bit, but the fresh fruit is starting to come back in season. So that's nice. I was actually thinking as I was shopping, I wish I would have planned my day better and went to Aldi today because then I could have gotten like probably way more produce for my money, but that's fine. I'll go next weekend. Um, actually I won't go next weekend because we have a soccer tournament. We, now our life is done because we have soccer for the rest of the summer, <laughs> spring and summer. Um, I got some half and half, some Greek yogurt. This is the cherry Danon light and fit. Um, I got this to have with this granola and I already opened it and tried it. Oh my gosh. If you guys like granola, try this. It's super good. Um, it is chocolate chip cookie granola. They also have uh, oatmeal cookie granola and I think peanut butter cookie granola this purely Elizabeth brand my Walmart only had this flavor so I'll have to keep an eye out for the other flavors and see if I can find it because I love oatmeal raisin cookies and I bet that one would be delicious um, I got some sugar-free lemon lime jello um, I got some Canadian bacon because I want to maybe make eggs benedict and then I also have some English muffins in the freezer um, I've been trying out wild grain i don't know have you guys heard of them before wild grain is like this um bread subscription and i've been liking to try out their like bagels and these are brioche rolls we haven't had these yet but i've gotten their sourdough bread and it's super good um i do have a discount code with them i'm not sponsored by them but i'll link it down below if you guys are interested i think it's like 20 bucks off oh and i forgot we got diet coke and diet mountain dew as well but anyway i was thinking i would either make eggs benedict or breakfast sandwiches with those um i asked for like the fresh sliced deli meat but they substituted this um rotisserie chicken and ham i got some one third less fat cream cheese and then some of this um laughing cow cheese wedges i kind of forgot about these and then i saw someone have them on tiktok and i was like oh yeah i like those um i usually put them with like triscuits or eat them with like carrot sticks or celery or something like that they're good i got my old good old packet of hollandaise sauce mix some sharp cheddar cheese for sandwiches i got bologna because i haven't had a good bologna sandwich in a while and i am still tracking my calories but i added it all up and i can have a bologna sandwich for like 350 calories with this bread i got so i'm like yes i have a bologna sandwich for lunch this week <laughs> I got some mozzarella to grate up for a homemade pizza recipe that I want to make. And then I saw this Chobani flip. I've never seen this kind before, so I don't know if it's new. It's the confetti birthday cake. Um, so I like to have these once in a while as a dessert. So I got that. Some 2% cottage cheese, some buttermilk um, to make buttermilk to make coleslaw and then also to make some ranch dressing. I got some dried beef um, either for... Um, chipped beef on toast or sometimes I like to roll these up with a little bit of this one third less fat cream cheese maybe put some chives in there some garlic powder it's really good and this dried beef it's like if you're looking for like a super low calorie snack you can have like seven slices of this for less than 100 calories I know it has a lot of sodium in it so if you're watching your sodium you know don't do that but <laughs> it actually is pretty decent on calories um, I got some turkey sausage sticks. Those are good, and we haven't had them in a while. 
some of these um, Joseph's pita bread. I am gonna make some pita chips and homemade hummus this week. I got some Ghirardelli semi-sweet chocolate chips. Um, I just decided to get the larger bag. That way I can get a couple batches of chocolate chip cookies out of these. Um, sometimes I don't wanna buy like dessert stuff from the store, I'd rather just make it myself. Like last week, earlier before I left on a work trip, I made um, homemade brownies and we had them with sugar-free ice cream. It was really good. I'll probably make some chocolate chip cookies this week. Um, I really like this Skinny Pop popcorn. It's one of my favorite snacks, so I got that for myself or whoever else wants it. Some ranch from the valley. We're all out of that. Connor requested it. Um, some marinara sauce just because I was running low in the pantry. Um, two boxes of these Nature Valley peanut butter chocolate wafer bars. Connor likes to take those for a snack to school. And then some applesauce pouches. Um, I got some more single serving uh, chips. This, I like this one because it has puffy Cheetos in those and I love, I love me some puffy Cheetos, especially when they're portioned out like that. Capri Sun for the kids. Um, I ended up getting this butter bread. I don't think we've ever tried this before, but it's only 70 calories a slice. So I was kind of thinking to myself, with the bologna sandwich when I got that. <laughs> um, I got some trash bags because we were running low on those for the kitchen. Some stainless steel scrubbers for my stainless steel pan. What did I cook the other night in it? Oh, I roasted some pork. Um, and once I took it out of the oven, I tried to just scrub it with a regular kitchen scrubber and it wouldn't come off. So I got that instead. Some napkins, some paper plates, because we're all out of those. Some downy scent beads. Um, actually, this is my favorite scent, in case you were wondering, in case that was gonna keep you up tonight, if you didn't know my favorite scent of downy scent beads, <laughs> is the April Fresh Edamame. I freaking love this stuff. You can just steam it right in the bag. I throw it in a bowl with some soy sauce, sprinkle of salt, maybe some chili oil. So good. And edamame is fairly high protein, so it's a really good snack. Or a lot of times too, what I'll do is if I'm cooking dinner, I'll like set it out on the counter here with like some other fruit and veggies. And that way the kids, they're like, I'm hungry, when's dinner? Then they can snack on that stuff rather than eating junk before dinner. Um, I got some tater tots. Couldn't think of the word. I got some tater tots. Uh, these are probably for some individual. Um, I want to try to make like some individual tater tot casserole freezer meals um, for me or me and Adam, Adam and I. Adam and me, I guess it would be. We are the only two that really like the tater tot casserole. But I figured that I could use some of like my glass um, meal prep containers and make some like single servings of those so I don't know I'm gonna try that I've been craving it for whatever reason probably my trashy Midwest palette but whatever and <laughs> along with bologna sandwiches and tater tot casserole you know whatever um okay and then I've talked about this before this is the fa fa bo I don't even know how you say this I know it's fa fa bo is that how you say it um these little beef fa bowls they're so stinking good okay and they do not have chunks of beef in them like this however sometimes what i'll do is if i have leftover steak i'll keep it cold and i'll slice it really thin and then when i pour the boiling water in this once i let it sit and get hot and cook the noodles i'll pour it over the beef the cold beef in a bowl and then i add like chili oil and green onions maybe cilantro like kind of whatever I have in the fridge and it really like doctors it up. But the flavor of this broth is so stinking good. I love it. And it's like a really filling lunch. I'm even, I have even, don't tell anybody, but I've even eaten these for breakfast before because sometimes I just don't want a traditional breakfast meal. Okay, it's 10 o'clock and I probably need to get to bed pretty soon. So let me go ahead and put this stuff away. So yeah, you guessed it. Since it was after 10 o'clock by the time I got done putting the groceries away, I did not have time to work on my closet this weekend. So we'll have to save that for another weekend prep video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me this weekend. Don't forget to check out Fabric. I'll have that link in the description box below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.